YouTube, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Karma, and it's nice to meet you. On my channel, I just do a little bit of everything, um, but mainly this channel is based around manifestation. But I'm getting into other things. So let's get started with this Gloria Satterfield case, okay? So if you have been anywhere near the news media right now, then you would know that the sentencing for Alex Murdoch just happened. He was a prominent lawyer in South Carolina who um, um, has been uh, charged and, and found guilty of murdering his son and his wife. But we're not really going to get into that side of the case. We're going to get into the side of the case about his nanny. Her name is Gloria. And Miss Gloria, she um she worked for their family for over 20 years. Um she came into the picture when Buster was oh, I think they said they were he was Buster's the older son. So he was like under excuse me, no, Alex. No, excuse me. Paul. She came in when Paul was younger, maybe like one or something. Maybe Buster was five. I can't, I can't remember the article. But, um, so she came into life when they were fairly young. And then for 20 years, so you gotta imagine she's been there in their whole life, right? And so the more I read about this case and I study about this case, then I, I'm starting to, I just get the feeling that, right? This is my, my personal opinion right here. But that, you know, that Gloria and Maggie, Alex's wife that he murdered, right? So I'm good to murdering. Um, we're close. They had to be close. To have a nanny in a housekeeping your house for 20 years. First of all, for you to get along with a person that long, they had to have built a relationship. It is said that, um, that Paul was very close to Gloria because she was a mother figure. Whereas Maggie, you know, I'm sure Maggie loved her children, but Maggie was a privileged wife. And so, you know, there were just things that, you know, maybe she... You know, she, you know, I was watching, they had just put their, um, estate up first for sale, right? And they were, they were auctioning off, like, her monogram pillows and her fine china and just, so I can imagine that she lived her lifestyle to the fullest of her ability, right? And so, being with that said, you know, you, I, I can imagine when you do have money and now you help you, you have more time for yourself. So, I'm not saying that she was a selfish mom, but I'm just saying that she was a privileged mother, who could afford a nanny to do, like, some of the day-to-day -day stuff that she just wasn't privy to doing, right? But I can't say that um, it had to be working because, for one, um, Gloria, Miss Gloria, the nanny, never quit, right? And she stayed there for so long, so so the pay had to be right, the environment had to be right. And I'm pretty sure she loved those boys, too, because she helped raise those boys. But it was said that Paul was really, really close to Gloria, and so, um, let's, let, so let's go to, so let's kind of give you the family dynamics. You know, it seemed that like, uh, Buster, the older son of the two sons was closer to Alex. Um, and, um, you know, and that, you know, at the time Alex, so, so I just want to say this, when the nanny failed, right, in February, this was after the son Paul had been accused of, um, you know, allegedly drunk driving. He had been, um, you know, he was being charged at this time, I believe. So, excuse me, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if he was charged at the time of the death of Miss Gloria, but the incident had already happened. But now that he is, you know, dead, the charges, of course, will be dropped. Um, so, and RIP to Mallory Beach, the girl who lost her life the day on that boating tragedy. So, um... But anywho, Paul has been said to be closer to the nanny, which I can understand because she's there day to day, help raise him and everything. So it's, so the family dynamic to me sounded like it was like Maggie, the housekeeper, Paul, and then um, Buster and Alex, right? Mind you, why didn't he kill Alex? Why didn't he lure Alex in the house to get rid of him as well? So, you know, there's a lot of different theories of why he did it. We'll never truly know. But... The, back to this Gloria Standerford case, right? So the day of the incident, which I'm going to read um, from the news, news source, what they said, right? Happened on the day of this accident or whatever. So, um, because she went, when, okay, so it was said that, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get to the beginning of this call. Okay, so, um, 
So here we are. I'm okay. So I'm gonna show you the stairs to the house. This is the stairs where Miss Gloria fell and hurt herself critically, right? So it says, okay, so news outlet says Murdoch's wife Maggie was the one who placed the call to Colton County authorities on February 2nd, 2018, after Miss Gloria fell while went walking up the brick staircase outside Moselle, which is the area they live in. Satterfield, Miss Gloria, died nearly a month later on February 26, 2018 at Trident Medical Center from trip and fall injuries she reportedly sustained. So this is, uh, my housekeeper has fallen and her head is bleeding, Maggie Murdoch told the 911 operator shortly before 9.30 a.m. I cannot get her up. So, in the 2018 911 call, Maggie Murdoch continued answering the operator's questions, guessing at Sanderville's age, noting the housekeeper fell while going up her brick steps. Miss Sanderfield was on the ground and not really conscious, Maggie Murdoch said. The housekeeper was awake and mumbling, but other words not responding, according to the audio. Sanderfield was uncontrollably bleeding from the top of her head, Maggie Murdoch said, before handing the phone off to a man. The man did not say his name on the call. Uh, however, in a statement released by Centerfield family attorneys on November 30th, Paul Murdaugh is identified as the other person on the call. The man told the operator that Miss Gloria works for us. He spoke with the dispatcher the remaining of the call, which lasted six minutes. She's cracked her head and there's blood on the concrete and she's bleeding out of her left ear and out of her head and she's cracked her skull. The person on the phone appeared to grow irritated with the operator after she asked him whether Centerville had ever suffered a stroke. Ma'am, can you please stop asking these questions? He later told the operator Centerville wasn't unconscious, just mumbling. I believe she's hit her head and maybe has a concussion or something, he said. Um, the operator informed him emergency services would arrive soon at the property, but to call back if Miss Gloria's condition changed. Once medics arrived, they rushed Jennifer to the hospital via helicopter, according to the dispatch report. So, um, so then, you know, she went into the facility and February 26th, she lost her battle, was trying to stay alive. And so, um, that was a very bad, nasty fall that she experienced, right? And so, um... You know, on the phone with, uh, on the call with, so, on the call with Paul, he seemed like he was a little short with the operator, like he just wanted the whole episode to be done and over with, or just, you know, come get her so he can move on with his day, like, you know, but that's, that's the type of attitude that they're saying that he has, just a wealthy, uh, not really caring about trivial little stuff type of person when he can, you know, like he ordered people around and everything, I mean, but this is a long line of wealth at this young man came from so they added to the air prestige or whatever it comes with it right so now the coroner never came out right and there never was an autopsy performed and on her death certificate it just says she died from natural causes now we know that she tripped and fell and sustained injuries right so I, i'm i can only only suspect that they put natural causes because she died in the hospital probably from due to some natural occurrence of, but leading from the fall right so the reason why this is so important now is because this all of this these things came to light during the trial of alex killing his wife and his son so now you know the so and so and what happened is alex murdoch ended up getting resigned from his farm because he was stealing funds. And so once they started probing to all the funds he stolen, they realized that a partner of his, the so when, so what happened was after the mom fell and passed away, right? Alex Murdoch told her children, her sons, her family to sue his estate to get insurance money. And he even referred them to a lawyer to help them. The lawyer was actually in cahoots with Alex and they stole their money. They stole all of the Gloria Standerfield estate money because they did end up winning the lawsuit against this estate in the sum of $4.3 million. Literally, one of her sons was in the process of being evicted while all this was going on. They, they, they never knew the settlement amount or that it had even settled because Alex and this guy were stalling the family off. So, when that came to light, it brought us to issues of 
how did Gloria really die? How come there was not an autopsy? And how come there was no coroner's report? So as of um, June 2022, when this stuff had came to light, they had decided they were going to exhume her body and see the um, cause of death. Now, I'm not sure what's happening with the exhumation. Um, I mean, when more details come out or when they want to make it public or, you know, because if it's part of a case and they want to keep it confidential, I don't know. I tried to Google it a little and I just seen that it says that she would be exhumed and an autopsy would be performed. So that's where we are with that. But in light of all this happening, right, with Alex stealing clients' funds, stealing their money, it really makes you think, did she fall accidentally? Was she pushed or was she hurt, right? Because he had been scheming and scamming money from people for so long. I can't say, I don't even know if Alex did it and as a way to get more money because he was going under. He was just trying to find millions of dollars in ways to fund his lifestyle because he was, he was, he was going under. He was in debt. It said at the time of Maggie's death in her bank account, there was only $56 in her bank account. Alex had drained them. Alex was draining them. So it makes one wonder, how did Gloria really die? Why was there no autopsy? Why was there no coroner's report? Because he is said to be so connected in that county and in that area that he could talk to people and they would just sign off on whatever he said. That's how respected him and his family was. That's how uh, how much clout they had. Like, he could just wave people off right there at the crime scene. Like, But mind you, when, when she left that day in the medic, it was just an accident because she was still alive. And conscious. Not coherent, but conscious. So, I think they just swept up, you know, they just treated it like that and went on for it. I don't think they really took enough evidence, pictures, autopsy, none of that. Like, they should have been doing all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, so her body is going to be exhumed, but looking at how an, another case example, um, there was a, he had a client who became paraplegic due to an accident, stole all their funds. This is what Alex Murdoch was doing, right? Um, and side note, so the South Carolina, Carolina CEO of this, of the bank that Alex Murdoch was, um, working in cahoots with. He ended up getting fired from his job and charges pressed against him. So now what he said was that he blindly was doing this, right? Like, like he, he would just believe whatever Alex would tell him and he'd do it. So if Alex had signed over this check, cash the check, whatever, he trusted Alex and he did it. But the prosecution has showed that, um, that the CEO had, Loan himself money with client funds. Loan Alex money. Alex loaned him money. So it's too intertwined for him to say that he didn't know. He did reap the benefits of selling from clients. However, he didn't go out and murder his family because that's what he was doing. So I'm sure he'll get time and he'll see the light of day again. But Alex Murdoch, since you've been like tried and convicted of murdering your son and your wife, I don't think you're going to see the light of day again. But who knows in this crazy story. Um, So a lot of people lost their jobs and fell out behind of Alex Murdoch's lies and betrayal, right? And so once again, I stand the question, who did, what really happened to Gloria Satterfield? Was she pushed down the stairs? They say that she tripped over some dogs coming up. Now, I now I mean, who's to say it can't happen? And if you take a look at the staircase again, it is a brick staircase. And if you're older, you're more fragile, you're more choosing, you know, a little heavier set, right? So, you know, and, and that day, the day that she came to the house that she fell on this fatal day, right? She was coming there to pick up her paycheck. She was coming. She wasn't even supposed to be there that day. Now, in today's day and age, I'm like, you couldn't have cashed out her, her money, zilled her her money, uh, mailed her her check, whatever the case may be. But whatever the case may be, I don't know how their payday system went. All I'm saying is in 20, 2018, like, come on, the cash app was out. Um, you know, Zell was out. Well, anyway, but they made her come down and get her check. And this is when the incident happened, tripping on her way up the stairs. But we don't know because there's no video footage. And we're just going by eyewitness accounts from Maggie Murdoch, who as a loving mother just wanted to protect and cover for her sons. Paul Murdoch, who was already under suspicion of killing one some, someone due to a DUI. Um, I don't believe Buster was even there that day. And then, of course, Alec Murdoch. 
And then it's just the way that, um, that Paul, so like I was just saying, like my personal opinion, it just seemed like it was a family divided. It was a family divided. So you had a group of, I feel like Alex, um, catered to Buster and then Maggie cared, catered to Paul. I mean, you know, and then the real reason why I feel like Alex even covered for anything that Paul's ever done or his wrongdoing is because he didn't want his financial scheme to be found out because because of um, what was going on in the um, Mallory Beach case, right? They were going to start probing into Alex Murdoch's finances, right? They were going to just, I don't know if it, was, if it was just to prove how much they could sue for to get money for Mallory. You know, not I don't think that it's just is about money, but to see what they could sue for. To some kind of way, it was coming up that he was going to have to show his financials. And so he just knew that his time was running out. Um, so as you know, so that's one theory as to why he may have killed his son, but nevertheless, the family was divided. And, um, so, you know, truly in my heart, I don't, I, I, I believe it either could have been, I don't see why Paul would want to kill his nanny. Like, I don't see why Paul would want to kill his nanny because he was close to her. She raised him, you know, I, I was seeing, he, he would see her as a second mom. So I don't see why Paul, so I either think honestly and truthfully, maybe she did fall up the stairs. And it is a crime of opportunity. Alex came up with this scheme to get the money from his estate through the insurance via her glorious Satterfield's family. Or it really was, uh, she was pushed. She was murdered. Someone made her fall up the stairs on purpose. But regardless if she accidentally died or died by the hands of someone, the money from that estate was stolen. It was withheld from her family. And that makes it a crime. And it really makes Alex Murdoch and all of them be under suspicion. But like we said, those two are gone now. Who's to say that they didn't have proof that he did push Gloria Satterfield? And that's why he got right of his, his son and his wife. You know what I'm saying? It also was reported that she had been talking to a, a divorce lawyer six weeks prior. Actually, his wife hadn't even been living in the house with him. She was living in... They had three, three several houses. She was living in another house. So she came across town... That night, because the husband had said that he, her, his father was ailing, getting worse. So she had came to, you know, say her goodbyes to Alex Murdoch's father, Randy. But really, it was just a lure and a plot for her and her son to get there and be trapped in the death trap. Um, So it's so many different motives that could have gone on. But in the Gloria case, I guess we're just waiting for the exhumation and the real autopsy and the real coroner's reports. We can really see what happened and piece together what exactly happened that day that she, you know, hurt herself fatally on their stairs. So I just wanted to shed light into Gloria's case because I feel like, you know, justice wasn't done in her case. You know, justice may have been done if they had paid, if he had just paid the settlement all right. This probably wouldn't even came to light, but because <clears throat> it was a tragic accident, but it makes it look like he may have had a hand in her physical hurting because who thinks of that? Who thinks, oh, you know, she fell down the stairs on the sewer and get all these millions. And then it keeps the millions from the family. Like, he was just an awful guy for real. Just, he was just greedy. Greedy, 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 greedy. I don't understand. Was he not making money? As, oh, no. Well, they also said that he had a drug a habit of opioids. He spent between 50000 a week or something on opioids. So, I mean, that's a high expensive drug. So... Definitely, um, that's where all the money was going, I guess. So that's just that. I mean, um, but never the, nevertheless, rest in peace to Gloria Satterfield. She did not deserve to die in vain. We don't want her death to be in vain. And we do want answers in her death. I want answers. I want to know what she pushed. Did she fall accidentally? Did he just see it as a crime or opportunity to steal money from her family's estate? Okay, stay tuned.